I'm going to get right into this reading. This is how the divine masculine is portraying themselves to the divine feminine currently versus reality. So let's just get right into this. If you want to book your own reading, you can check out my website at touchittarot.com. The first card, and let me just pull it up right here because I want to give you a little bit of the description of it. Okay, lessons learned, important memories, and heart connection. So I feel like the Divine Masculine right now may be portray portraying an energy of maybe being single, uh, having a fresh start, being very innocent in a situation that they got wrapped up in. I just feel like this person um, is kind of in the pity party energy. I really am feeling that when it comes to what they're portraying to you. It would be like, oh, I just got out of a relationship even because they do um, say that in here as well. I've learned a whole bunch of lessons. I want to start focusing on myself. Um, and that's fine, right? But remember, I pulled the cards. So I know what's coming up for real. Um, so yeah, I'll just, you know, that gives you a hint. It's fine to be going through new beginnings. And it's fine to have an innocent energy or feel like you were done wrong. Um, but I think that we have an energy here of someone who is putting on a little bit of a show, but you'll see why when I explain, and then you determine what you think of that. Um, yeah, let's go to the next cards here, okay? So what is the Divine Masculine portraying to the Divine Feminine, possibly with the date card? I'm single, I'm uh, out mingling, I'm figuring things out, I'm getting my life together, I'm finding out who I am. And, you know, guys, it really helps that I have the cards pulled ahead of time to uh, to tie this all together. And you'll see why. Um, but I really feel like this masculine is possibly portraying that they have left a relationship. They're going in a new direction, but they don't really know where just yet. They're just figuring things out. Okay. So we have the runner card. When I asked my guides to please further explain that dating message. Um, so, there's an energy, I believe it will come up, or it's just the message I got in general, that this person um, is possibly flirting with others, something like that. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, I'm just seeing the energy of the dating card, and I'm not seeing much activity, intimacy type of thing, but I do feel that this person is either just portraying that they're around others, you know, they, I might have just got myself tricked right there, okay, because... I was just about to feel that this person is dating, but I actually, now it's like I just got corrected. They're not. They're using this as an excuse to run. Whew. So we have the mirror here. Now this talks about reflections of our, our wounds um, from relationships. This talks about mirroring each other, self-image. What I really get is that the divine feminine is actually like phenomenal. And this person, once again, I get that message, like you're too bright. The divine feminines right now for a lot of the masculines, and you'll know if you relate to this or not. Remember, I don't believe, I don't know if I've made this clear. I don't believe, you know, everyone's meant to be together because a lot of times it is just meant to um, provoke and invoke this fire within you to look at yourself and your own issues, right? And that is the ultimate gift from anyone. Thank you, right? So how is this person portraying themselves? Maybe that they've been hurt before. Remember, it goes back to those lessons learned. They are feeling their pain from your, it's almost because you are so bright and do not dim yourself, obviously. But you know, when someone's really happy, this is the best analogy I can give when someone's really happy and sometimes it annoys us, right? Me too. I'm guilty of this too, or I used to be more guilty of it. I realize the truth is, is often it's like you can't handle that level of happiness and that's all it is. And once you get to this, this new platform, you kind of just, it won't affect you like that anymore. In fact, you might be overtaken with happiness as well when someone's like really, really joyful. So I feel like this person, I'm not saying you're super joyful or anything like that, but I do feel that this person um, is, is, is nearing their own wounds to themselves. Okay. So next card how is the masculine portraying themselves so i didn't bring the book for this because i don't need the book what i really get from this when it says marie masquerade it's really interesting actually that it's masquerade um hence everything going on right but
but it's talking about glamour, intrigue, and drama. I actually feel uh, that this person, once again, is coming off as though they're so busy and so wrapped up in a lot of drama, and they have to take care of it. They have to be there, um, you know, to protect whatever this situation is. Remember, it's a victim -y uh, energy I'm picking up. So it's like they want you to feel sorry for them. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Can you please put in your suggestion of words for the energy? Um, because it's it's like, because they also want to look like everything's good. So it's the weirdest thing, okay? I can explain it better once, I guess, we move forward. It will come out better. Okay, so I said, how is the masculine portraying himself to the divine feminine? And these cards came all in reverse. Um, I got messages from them all, but this one I actually had to look up to understand even more, and it ties into this energy I'm getting. So attachment. I actually feel that the masculine with the attachment in reverse is saying that they don't want an attachment right now. They may be saying, I've actually come out of a situation, or I've just released myself from something else. Here's that mask energy again. Very interesting. This is very current energy. Um, so this person may, and it's a number five, which this year is a number five. So this person may be saying, I don't want any attachments with the anxiety card. I feel like this person may even be saying, you know, it's too much drama. It's too, I don't want any more drama in my life. I don't want, listen, this is all, it's a bit of a, uh, there, it's really a masky energy here. Okay. Not just literally, um, I don't want any anxiety right now. Maybe they're saying last time I was, we were together, it was stressful and I'm just, you know, I'm not into attachments anymore at all. Um, and then, so this one is the second chakra. And what I got, which is the weirdest thing, is I feel that your person, for some of you specifically, may be saying to you that right now they are already doing some sort of projects or creative endeavors and they cannot they cannot spread their energy elsewhere. They may be saying, I have travel coming up. Um, you know, there's stuff I got to do. So I said, how can you explain this any better to my guides? Explain it better. That's what I say when um, I don't, <laughs> to be honest, it's when I'm not comfortable with the cards. Like I want more. And so to be straight up, they said, victory. This masculine is portraying themselves as they are victorious. Everything is A-OK. -okay in that sense okay but we also have this 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 energy here of like oh i've just learned my lessons i'm i'm innocent right so how else is the divine masculine then portraying himself to the divine feminine at this time for whoever this relates to we have the warrior and the servant so this is all about protecting taking care servicing for others it's very bizarre so it's like, you know, how are you doing? I'm doing really good. I'm helping people. Um, I just, I'm just imagining what the masculine may be saying. You know, it's taking all of my strength and discipline and all of my focus. I have to be the hero here. Um, you know, I have to sacrifice what I have right now to help people in my dramatic circle. In here, I, I'm sorry if my voice is annoying to anyone right now. When I talk like that, like I, I feel this person's a bit annoying right now because it's all BS. Okay, let's open it right to the page here or something. I don't know. But this way came. So the paradox. Resolution of opposites. Intuitive decisions and tricky situations. This is the reality of this person right now. They are working out some sort of, uh, I, I want to say delusional. So I don't know if they're dealing with delusional people. This person has to intuitively resolve some sort of situations with people that are opposing something going on in their life. This is a tricky situation. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it right? Is it wrong? It's a paradox. And it's even in reverse, which I think is, I feel like in this sense, in the upright, there's no description here for reverse. Um, in this sense, you know, I feel like this person is really thinking they're trying to, they're going to get to the bottom of this. They're looking for the signs, you know, they're, they're paying attention here. I'm like, I'm feeling like this person has just been through the ringer. 
his face has grown like seven inches longer. And you know, sometimes when people are stressed, they have this look to them. So, so reality, this person is completely confused. Uh, this card also talks about um, not only a confusing situation, but it's a situation where you know that something is right, the right thing to do. But if you do it, it will be absolutely the wrong thing to do. Into your intellect tells you that this is a good thing, but your gut tells you it's a bad thing. And I feel that this person has so much fear in them that they get that gut energy quite often because look at all the drama they're around, right? And I, I left the cards here to tell you like what cards were on the bottom and I'm just looking and noticing ghosts of the past. So the reality of this person, these cards came out all at once. Um, though this person may be acting like they're dating and like they don't want a commitment and they're running, um, I believe with the kisses and the love, both of these cards talk about unconditional love, both of them, unconditional love, the dragonfly energy. For me, it's quite magical, but it talks about being like hearted, things coming to light, adapt, change and healing. I feel that the truth is, even though this person is confused, um, from these cards, they're saying this person wants unconditional love. That's the reality. This person doesn't want to date. This person doesn't want to, to go through those mirroring relationships that trigger them. They want unconditional love. They want kisses and hugs. Okay, let's move forward. Oh, this one was interesting. So um, what is the, what is really going on with the masculine? Look what we got. They came out together, by the way. This, I believe, is the death card. That's what I related to. And I guess that that can be, but I was just looking for the number energy. Um, yeah, transmission into the spirit realm. Okay, this gets deeper here. Now I remember. So the divine masculine uh, in reality is mending a broken heart is this card they could just literally be broken hearted okay but there is a strong energy here and i'll explain after because this even says transition to the spirit realm i feel like your person is really realizing they do want love they do want unconditional connection um the connection with the divine feminine but there's this energy here like not only that the spirits are stepping in and trying to call them to that attention, to follow their heart, and to not worry about any heartache, okay? So that was really interesting. The first card that came out when I asked, was it this big group? No, it was one, and then I got the big group. So when I asked, what is the reality? Third eye, focus, intuition, and trust. Um, but this goes back to that energy of this person knowing exactly what they want, the divine feminine, the one that unconditionally loves them. This person knowing that they're running, that they're making excuses. It's really interesting. Okay. So I said, can you explain that better, please, to my guides? And we got this cluster tied up. So this energy for me, because of everything else, is this person is tied up. Um, but I never took a really, really good look. Okay, it's difficult. It's a difficult situation. It's not the easiest for this person to get out of is the message I'm getting. Um, though this person knows exactly where they should be and what they should do, this situation that this person is in is actually difficult. And I mean, the guidance I'm getting right now because it's so difficult, I am pulling a card because uh, we need to know more. And I'll just tell you the first two cards I'm seeing here are the 10 of wands and the 10 of pentacles um, and the death card. Why is this situation so, so difficult? I mean, that already says a big message, but I need to know one more. So I'm not gonna take them all. Okay. I'm going to take the two top cards here. We have the six of wands in reverse and the eight of pentacles. The moon card is showing and I'm seeing the 10 of swords now and the 10 of pentacles. There's some, some secrets here, right? And it really could have to do with work as well. 
So this person could be tied up because they can't get out of a situation. This is a, um, a, a the hangman underneath it. Six of wands in this deck is someone acting like everything's good. Uh, and, you know, they may actually feel like it's good. But here, this is someone trying to avoid people from, from realizing things are not good. It could be at work. It could be with this person's business right now. That's crazy. There could be secrets. This could be tied back to the home with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and then the death card. This person really feels stuck in a situation, guys. And, you know, sometimes I don't have the full answer because it's like the cards don't want me to know. How how, how further can they explain that? We just saw three tens, death card, and I'm seeing the other ten here now sticking out, and it's in reverse. It's the cups. So not only is this person tied into some sort of, I mean, getting the, wow, I'm hearing formal arrangement. seeing if I get anything else there's a something so that can probably go for anything right money or I'm getting finances are a big thing here the message is is there is no love here so this is not about love as I say that I see the ten of cups I put back um that's why they are that's why like I'm having difficulty understanding the vibe I'm feeling here and the messages I'm getting so anyhow this person is tied up in a in a, it's actually deeper than I, I thought for a minute, but a lot of messages are coming out like now, which is interesting, pulling the cards ahead. Um, I was deep there, like I was getting choked up. So this person is tied up from, from embarking on their journey. But guess what? The one thing that I really appreciate is that the spirit world is really trying to send signs. Um, I'm hearing endless opportunity. I think that the, there's, I think the spirit world right now is sending the divine masculine endless signs, endless. Like look at all those little sparkles, right? Each one of them could be a sign like that much. And the sign is to actually go to what they truly know they want, even though I know it's divine feminine, but the signs are pushing the masculine to just follow their personal happiness. You know? So for the last two cards that were pulled, now this one, I really need your guys' help. Um, and I do want to mention, I left the cards when I saw, like, these bottoms. That's when I'm like, okay, I'll just leave all the bottoms. To clarify that paradox energy, uh, to get deeper into it, we have the magician, someone trying to act like they got everything under control, but no, two minds. This person is stressing and look at, oh no, this person doesn't want any big surprises right now. So it looks like they are camouflaging themselves um, from the challenges or something like that, you know, but the leaving is terrible. That can go on forever. That's about someone preparing one day, one day. So the two energies that came out for what reality is for this person was the advocate was first. This was really interesting. And I want your guys' opinion. Um, it could have to do more with the bottom. And that is what I got. But normally if it's about the bottom, you know, they come in reverse there. So the other card that came out when I said, can you further clarify, fly, clarify this? A clown. More mask. The reality so let's really go to the question. What is the reality? This person truly could be for the people. This talks about inspires you to put compassion into action. This person could really uh, be trying to build something or to grow or be a community person, a community leader, um, protect, right? They really could. They really could. There's someone here planting a seed. Um, this tree is growing. I mean, this could be someone, the reality could be they actually have to go within and say goodbye. I feel like this is a morning energy as well. Like, uh, goodbye to you, protected, farewell. Um, the negative side of this is embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. This person may be realizing it's time to say goodbye to things that they were holding on to. 
with the clown energy, the first thing I got is like, this person is afraid of looking like a clown. <laughs> I mean, but the wording in the upright is fearlessly revealing emotions, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. The reality may be that this person actually has responsibilities that they they cannot leave alone at this point or that they want to leave alone, but they may be putting on a certain um, look. And when I say leave alone, like they may want to, to say goodbye to these other, this responsibility or something that they've grown. It looks like it's just freshly grown. Um, but maybe this person is worried about the way they look or, or re fearlessly revealing emotions. So maybe they're afraid to say the truth. And it's weird that I was saying to the divine feminine, like I meant for the masculine, but whatever. It's for all of us. Healing. But guess what the word is? Patience. Patience. So the divine feminines here are empaths. This is the queen of shells, which is the queen of cups. And I feel that you truly do know what is deep in your heart, in the heart of your heart, you know what you're feeling. Um, this is the empath card. And this one is the passion card. This is the ace of wands. And I feel that, you know, I don't know if you know what's going on, but with the moon card sticking up here, um, you'll know when the right time for action is, or your person will be taking action. I mean, we have the bottom line here. What I'm getting is to be patient. If you recognize this message, then this person is clearly hiding from the truth of their their own truth i mean you someone can leave a message and say i don't want to be patient and i've moved on well congratulations i really i'm i feel great for you um but for people here that love this person like you know who you are my my viewers that are like that and you this person isn't really you're not allowing them to really run your life in any way um you probably know this. You probably know they're not as good as they're acting like they are. And by the way, the thinking woman kept on coming up and it was at the bottom. So I left that showing as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me know if you like these videos. And I'm always saying now, let me know where you're from.